Hello. As some of you might know, I do uh, video editing for a friend of mine on his uh, moderately sized channel. And recently this happened in one of our game sessions. Don't do that to me, I will cry. Like I might break. Sometimes I imagine myself playing pogo stuck and when I fall, I imagine my bones crunching up like a horror movie. It'd be funny. Can you do an edit? <laughs> I give you a challenge. Basically I was challenged to break him and that challenge I accepted. So today we're gonna be going through how I achieved this effect. I use a software called Blender, which I've used before, and I've even made a video with it. Back in the day, I, I like showed you guys a, like a hole in the ground and I talked about it and stuff like that. So I have really minimal experience with it. The, the last thing I did, I think was a burger or like a stair room case, staircase room. It, 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 so, I have, so I have some experience, but not enough to do this. So it was a lot of learning. So first day I sat down, I was a bit overwhelmed by the, the task at hand. So I decided to start with something easy and get some like reference images for like textures and stuff like that for, you know, the character, Tio. Luckily, he provided me with plenty of references. Well, what, do you, what part of me do you want more? Because I'm really tall. Beg for your life, you know. Please, 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 please! Oh, chat, like don't tell him, but I there's no way I can do that. I don't know how to do that. I have to hire some edit on Fiverr or something. Wrong, I'm gonna do it all by myself. So what I did is that I cut Tio out here so I could put him on a 3D character, basically using the image as a reference. The problem is, but I didn't have a 3D model. So what I try to do is use this uh, program called PIFU HD. So what it does is it takes your 2D photos. What, I don't know, wait a minute. It takes your 2D photos and makes them 3D. Unfortunately, it's not like its own, like you have to use like Google servers and shit to use it. And it was a big nightmare. And I think I spent like an hour trying to figure it out and it took forever and it didn't work. I kept getting stuck on one of the last steps. Oh. So I said, fuck it. I'll make my own 3D model. You can imagine how that went. So that went horribly. So I decided to try PIFU HD again which again didn't work, uh, so I was just stuck. So I said fuck it and I downloaded a model, a 3D model of a, a person, just a base, you know, just T-posing. Hey guys, editing flash here. I just like to apologize. The guy was in fact not T-posing. Anyways, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. And I started applying the texture and it started to look good, good-ish. I was proud of myself, decided to leave it there for the first day, happy with myself. On the second day, I decided to finish up Tio. Uh, so I you know, started to finish off the texture and added some headphones and stuff like that, which was difficult. <laughs> so I finally finished texturing Tio and he looked pretty good. Now it's time to rig him. So basically that means adding bones. Yeah, the boning went okay, um, but it was a very simple rig, uh, so it was fine. But the headphones wouldn't follow the head. So basically I would, you know? <laughs> So it took me around an hour of like trial and error to figure out what the fuck was happening and it kept bugging out. And then finally I found the right bone to attach it to with the right setting and it worked and I was so happy. Decided to end that session on a little victory, you know. I took a break, came back later to start Tio's room, his uh, streaming room. So I decided to take this image as a reference where I told Tio to just move out of the way. And luckily I did that tutorial I mentioned earlier. I did this like room, so I kind of had experience making a room. <laughs> so yeah, luckily I did remember some of the ways to do a few things like making the stairs here and like the, the banister, I think it's called. <laughs> then it was time to do the Corsair logo, which I'd never really done like a, a neon sign like in 3D. So I decided to follow a tutorial on it. It worked out pretty good. It looked great. I just had to add an emission color and, and it was it was looking, looking good. Look at that. And this is where I left it off for the day. And I think I was pretty happy with what I was doing so far. On day three, I decided, okay, so I need to find a desk for Tio's setup. But most of them ended up being either too expensive or just not what I was looking for. I just decided to make it myself. I just took a shape and I molded it into what I wanted it to be. Added some metal bars and bam, we got a desk. For the rest of the session, I textured uh, a few extra things, and then on his computer monitors, I put a screenshot that itself emitted light so that it looked like an actual you know, computer screen, which I think looked good. So I started off uh, that day by um, adding a few Fanta cans on his desk, you know, for realism. Then I did a few details to make the room more detailed. Then I needed to find a Vecna clock model because, you know, So 
So I found this free model online. It was time to bring Tio in the scene to get him ready for animation. And then I animated him for a little bit. I was a bit surprised by, by how easy I found it considering I hadn't animated in a long time, but I think it went pretty smoothly. So day five, I started off with, um, you know, moving some cameras around and like deciding what the shots were gonna look like, doing some minor animation. And then halfway through that, I realized that I wanted Tio to be screaming when he was being... <laughs> I'm not very good at this yet. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is duplicating Tio and the texture. And then on that second texture, changing his face to a screaming one. And it worked out okay. <laughs> so we'll start off with Tio at his desk with the, the first model. And then once he's standing up about to get levitated, it'll be the model of him screaming. So before Tio dies, um, I wanted uh, Vecna to like put his hand over his head a bit like in the show. I think he does this thing where he's like, Ugh. so I, I looked uh, online for a model and I found one. It was incredibly detailed. It was the most detailed model I've ever interacted with. Looking back, honestly, I could have saved a lot of render time if I had just cut off the arm and not kept the whole detailed rig right in the shot. But you know, what are you gonna do? So I animated Teal floating and freaking out and stuff. Then I animated the Vecna's hand. Then I did more animation and then I more camera animation. And I was finally done. So it was now time to render out the animation, which took forever. So the way that rendering three animations usually work is that you render frame by frame. And I know that sounds dumb. So you basically render out an image sequence. So the good thing about that is that you don't have to render the full video in one go. Is that you can stop at a specific image and then continue you know, the next day or something. So it took me a few days to render the whole animation. I think it'd be two days of like different sessions of rendering to render it out. So then you can import it into your, you know, editing software of choice and import it as an image sequence. And then it plays like a video. Then day six, I added the sound effects and I don't want to brag here. I'm a pretty dang good VFX adder. V v v I'm a good sound designer. And that was it. I was very happy with the animation. I mean, I, I haven't animated in 3D since I was like 13. So I was very satisfied with that look. So I wanted to share that with Tio and we reacted to it together. Um, and here's what it looked like. The uh, Vecna edit. I'm not going to show you guys, but you get to see my reaction to it. Hi. Hi. There's also audio in this. I don't know if you care if they hear it. Yeah. But... Is it just of my scream and stuff? Or is there actual hear it? I think it's, I think it, I think it's funny if they hear without. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm really it? excited. Okay, here is the thing I worked on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <sighs> just give me a sec. <laughs> I need to build myself up here. I need to... I was just going to introduce it. <laughs> I thought you were about to click play. I'm very proud of this. Tio, are you ready? <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 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 well, you're getting way too excited for it, man. <laughs> no. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It's only 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'm ready to watch a movie. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Uh, okay. Let's okay, do it. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Um, I think so. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me know. Okay. I'm ready. Yeah, okay. no, 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 no. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. What the f Please, 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 <laughs> That's so good, dude. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it, dude. That's really, really nice. I'm glad, man. And yeah, after all that, uh, it was uploaded and I was very excited to see you know, people's reactions to my animation. Let's read a few of the comments that were posted. That scream was visceral, dude. Holy hell. Yeah, that was an incredible scream that he did for the performance, honestly. He could basically be a voice actor, man. That was a really good scream. Why in God's name did Teal get that scream so good? <laughs> right? Yeah, that was a really, really good scream. Teal could actually be a voice actor or something. That scream was so fucking good. Yeah, yeah I agree. Like, it was, it was really good. How is Tio not a voice actor? That was the most terrifyingly realistic scream I've heard in years. Yeah, that was really, it was really fucking like good. It was a really good scream. The world is now ruled by one community of people, the world's satanic elite. You can also call them the community to meet the Antichrist and prevent the second coming of Jesus. 
Trump called them deep state. What the fuck? This edit made me laugh so hard. I love the pokes up videos. Always make me laugh super hard. Great video turn flash. There we go. Let's see. Let's see it. Dude. Oh, it's not the animation. That's all right. Let's see. Let's see more. There should really be a voice actor. This cream was so good. All right. So <coughs> this edit took me 18 hours to complete. If you guys th thought it was cool, please, you know, leave a like. Oh my God. I'm such a YouTuber now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this edit took me a long time to make. I hope you guys thought it was cool. So yeah, no, I didn't hire a Fiverr editor to do it. Okay. I actually did it myself. So if you enjoyed the video, like, and subscribe.